Hello, my wonderful students. Today we will play a wonderful game. Here I have a group of coloring pencils. We will see how many tens we can find. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we have ten. Let's continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we have ten and ten. Great! How many do we have left? Let's see. One, two, three, four. We have four pencils left. The group of pencils that is made up of 10 pencils is referred to as tens. As for the rest, they're referred to as ones. So we have four ones and two tens. To write the overall number of pencils, we will write the ones, then the tens. So the number four, then the number two. Now we can see that the overall number of pencils is 24. Notice, my dears, that two digit numbers are composed of two parts, ones and tens. We always write the ones and then the tens. Now we will do it again to find the number of buttons. How many tens are there? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we have one ten. Now we are left with these buttons. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the tens and they are equal to one ten. And these are the ones and they are equal to six. So we have six ones and one ten. This number is sixteen. We first write the ones, then the tens. Now we will use these cubes to find the number of ones and tens. Here, my dears, we have a group of cubes. There are ten cubes in each group. Let's see how many tens we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven tens, and here we are left with one, two. So two ones. Two ones and seven tens gives us the number 72. Ones, then tens. By this, my dears, we should have learned that two digit numbers can be divided into ones and tens. The first digit is called ones, and the second digit is called tens. Now, my dears, we will take this group of pencils, which is made up of four ones and two tens. Look at each number. The number four is, as in four ones, stands for four pencils. Meanwhile, the number two, as in two tens, stands for 20 pencils. We call the number four and the number 20 the place value of numbers. So we can say that four plus 20 equals 24. Number 4 stands for the 1s and its place value is 4. And number 2 stands for the 10s and its place value is 20. This method is called partitioning and it is used to find the place value of numbers. Now we will see the place value of the number of buttons. They are made up of 6 1s and 1 10. The place value of number 6 is 6, and the place value of number 1 is 10, so 6 plus 10 equals 16. The cubes are made up of 2 1s and 7 10s. Let's see the place value of each number. Number 2, as in 2 1s, has the place value of 2. Meanwhile, number 7, as is 7 10s, has the place value of 70. Using the partitioning method, we get 2 plus 70 equals 72.
We can use the partitioning method to find the place value of numbers.